hi guys welcome back to another youtube video so in this video i will be showing you six free tools that i personally use to boost my cold email results so if you are an agency owner or a freelancer or a b2b service provider this will help you increase your cold email results so cold email is basically about doing enough volume with a good enough message it's not always about more personalization but it's also about more volume as well so these tools will help you get more volume try help you write better emails and also help you in improving your deliverability so my name is saurabh and i'm the founder of scoutreach and we help b2b service providers get more clients right so as someone who has sent more than 300000 emails in last one year I'll show you what I personally use to get that level of volume how we deliver more and more emails to our prospects inboxes and how you can even write better spam free emails as well so let's start so the first and by far my most favorite tool is instant data scraper so it is an automated data extraction tool for any website it uses ai to predict which is the most relevant data on any html page and it allows you to save the data in whichever format you like it may be excel or csv so let's jump over to my screen and i'll show you how it works so this is how instant data scraper extension looks like so install this extension on your google chrome and let me show you how it works so whenever you are on a web page you want to extract so let's say i want to extract web mobile app app development companies in us so there are 4700 mobile app development companies in us so if i would have to do it manually it would take a lot of time like getting their websites and finding their email addresses of their potential leads right so if i just click instant data scraper it will quickly map out the most relevant data on this web page which is this website or company's listings right so you see it has app dot 50 company it was on this page and if i just start crawling these pages it will go ahead and start collecting all these details from this websites from clutch.com it will include their clutch profile their website url their name number of reviews they have got right and maybe this this caught as well so i'll let this do it and i'll show you what the end results would look like it has crawled through 13 pages i'm just stopping this if you want to do this whole you can do it for yourself so i will download it and i'll show you how it looks like right so this is the result you will be getting after you download the file from clutch using instant data scrap now you take this website urls put them into apollo and find your relevant leads so the next tool i want to talk about is gpt for sheets it's basically an extension inside google sheets which lets you use gpt inside google sheets right it's pretty clear from the name with gpt you can easily segment your list going ahead so whenever you are getting your list of prospects from a certain tool it will give you some unfiltered data it won't be a finished list which you can just start sending emails to directly you either have to segment your list based on the industry or maybe you have to clean your company names or maybe you want to personalize your list now if you use gpt inside the sheets it can make your job a lot easier so let's jump over to my screen and i'll show you what i'm talking about so let me show you how to install gpt for sheets so if you go to extension and get add ons you have to write gpt for sheets so this is the extension install it i have already got it installed you see there are 134 reviews for it and after installing what you have to do is go to gpt for sheet and set your api key i have already got my api key set up so you can use this at a scale so if you remember in the first tool i showed you we got like 650 companies from clutch and these are their website urls i have just imported these two variables so i will show you what we can do with this using chat gpt 
So first of all, what you have to do is go to GPT for sheets and enable GPT function. Let's say based on it website, you have, you want to identify whether. So sometimes what happens is when we get a list of URLs from a database, even you have filtered it based on the criteria you want from their database, it might not be the right company. So to segment that list better, I'll ask GPT to tell me like whether is this a mobile app development company or not. So in the first column, you're going to type your prompt. So I have written the prompt I want to use on this website URL. So I'll just say uh, use equal to GPT and select the prompt and then select the URL or the cell in which URL is present and close it and press enter and I'll wait for the result. So it says like yes this is an app development company. Right, so isn't it amazing? So now you can use Control D to use this prompt on all the website URLs and in one go, in one click of a button, you have the results like which is an app development company and which is not. And even if you want to get much better results, try to modify your prompt. So I'll just say to it like, just answer yes or no. And it will give me yes or no. And to correctly use the control plus D feature, what I'll do is I'll freeze the first column. So it while I take it down, the first prompt will always remain same. Only the second variable will change. So now you are basically free to use GPT as you want in the Google Sheet, maybe to extract product names from e-commerce stores and just be innovative guys. You will get great results with it. So the third tool I want to talk about is not basically a tool. It's a resource which you can use to get better leads, right? So one thing I bel really believe while doing cold outreach is like your 60% of the results depends on the people who you, are, who you are targeting. So if you have a list which nobody else is using, you will have much better results than most of the people. Because if you are just reaching out to people who get cold emails every other day, they will not pay attention to your emails because they're used to seeing these emails and they will have their guard up while reading your emails. But if you reach out to a new list or a prospect which is not really used to receiving cold emails, then you will have much better results. So this tool is Gravity, launchgravity.com. So they are basically an data intelligence platform they help you track engage and find startups before anyone else so if there is a new startup in let's say there are new founders in february so basically what they do is they curate a list of new founders or recently funded startups in last one month and give you all the list of emails their linkedin profiles and everything so it makes your job a lot easier so let's jump over to my screen and i'll show you what it includes and what are its potential uses as well? So this is the launchgravity.com app. So when you go to their sign in page, just use your email. I have used my company's email and I have signed up on this. It is $99 a month. And if you want to sign up for this, that's cool. But what I really do is I go to their data feed and look out for the recent list. So let's say I want to target companies funded in February. So it will just give me a list like this. So look, it will have a list of like 3000 companies. These are the companies which are in US. So I have filtered it based on the country. Like these are companies who just got funded in US in just February, right? They have given you the data of the decision maker as well. So it makes your job a lot easier. So $99 a month is pretty, pretty affordable and I think worth it. But if you just want to do it for free, there is a way for that as well. There is only one way possible if you want to do it free. That is LinkedIn outreach. So what we are going to do here is we are just going to scrap this list using instant data scrapper, which is the tool one which I showed you in this video and just scrape the LinkedIn URLs of these people who are decision maker in those companies and just start a connector campaign to these leads 
and then send messages on linkedin if you really want to do it free but if you can pay for it that's pretty cool you will get these email addresses as well so these three tools can easily help you find better leads help you personalize your emails and improve your targeting as well so in other part of the video i want to show you some tools that can help you deliver more emails and improve you know results as well going ahead so the fourth tool i want to show you is mail hyphen tester.com so this is a tool which basically helps you test the spamminess of your email inboxes so let's say you have bought a new email inbox and you, you have just finished your warm-up period or there is an email domain inbox or domain which you have been using from three to four months and now you have been seeing some deliverability issues or the reply rates have declined over the time so you can basically use this tool to check the probability of landing your emails into the prospect inbox so let me show you how it's done and what are the results you should be expecting on those tool so when you go to mail-tester.com you will be directly redirected to this page and you will be given this email address which you have to send your email to from the email inbox you want to test deliverability of so i will be using saurabh at the red scoutrich.info to test this and i'll send an email to this address and i'll come back to see the score of this so now i have gone ahead and send an email to this address from the email inbox which i want to test deliverability on and then i'll just click then check score to see where my email has landed in this inbox and what is the deliverability score i'm getting look i got 9 out of 10 so if you have like 7 or 8 out of 10 then you have to really worry because you will always be going to in one or two blacklist and you can't do much about that about it like if you are running like 40 50 inboxes i recommend check your deliverability after every two weeks to get a better idea of where you are at in terms of deliverability so you have a better idea of what needs to be changed either you have to buy new inboxes or your script has stopped working right for sending out emails or starting any cold email campaigns what we basically do is set up secondary email inboxes for all of our clients and us as well so google workspace is basically what we use and when we buy new domains we have to follow a particular process to make sure that we have a bulletproof dns records and we set up like dmark records custom tracking domains mx spf records and you know dkm keys as well the tool number five i want to show you is google admin toolbox so it helps you troubleshoot any problems you might have with your google workspace account so whenever you have done all the setup for your google domain which you have just bought just type that domain into google admin toolbox and it will show you like what are the problems it might have right now or if it is ready to start sending emails or if all the DNS is set up correctly or not. So let me show how to use it. So when you log into toolbox.googleapps.com, you will be redirected to this page and you want to be using this check MX option. And if you just write your Google domain or whichever domain you have to use to set Google Workspace account, it will tell you whether all the SPF, DKM and DMARC records are set up correctly or not. So just type your domain and it will give you the results you want. It will tell you whether you have done the right setup for your domain. So last but not the least, tool number six I wanna show you is Mail Meteor Spam Checker. So there are certain words which has higher probability of triggering spam with your email service providers, right? So some of those examples could be free, 100% guarantee, best price, something on that line. So these are basically terms used in email marketing, but cold email is totally different from, from that. It's basically one to one outreach, which in which you have to really differentiate um, your emails to every prospect you are reaching out to. So if you are just sending these terms, you will be, you will have a much higher chance of getting so with mail meteor spam checker. You can just paste your email inside it. It will tell you which words are not acceptable or which words have a high chances of triggering the spam filters and if you can really get a score of more than 80 85 on this you will be pretty good to go so let me show you on screen how it 
shows you the spam words and what changes you can basically make to you know pass that as well so if you just try to mail meteor spam checker on google you will be given the link to go to that website right so this is the tool i was talking about right so i have in previous one of the previous videos i used chat gpt to write a cold email and i'm going to be testing that on the spam checker and see where the changes we can make to improve its structure to write, to make it spam free right so let's see what score we could get so we have a poor score here so i'll just use my name hi sorrow and i saw so i will make just some changes to it and i'll get back to you so now i have made some changes to make it totally spam free and i've got a great score on it and i have been able to reduce the number of words in it as well so this is how you can use it like it it says like my email is now spam free right so thanks for watching this video i hope i was able to teach you about some new tools which can help you boost your outreach also if you are currently using some really cool tools right now and i didn't talk about them in this video feel free to mention them in the comments and i will take a look at them and i will try to make a video on that as well i hope you sign a lot of clients for your agency or as a freelancer and if you have any questions on client acquisition feel free to reach out to me on linkedin on twitter i'm pretty active there i'll include those links into the description